The past two years have been tough on all of us. And when it comes to women's health, many of us have canceled critical screenings and exam appointments, all due to pandemic restrictions. Well, joining us live, Cheryl Crow, breast cancer survivor and vocal women's health advocate, and also Dr. Arlene Richardson, director of radiology at Jackson Park Hospital in Chicago. Thank you to you both ladies for being with us this morning. Good to see you. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Cheryl, I want to start with you, a strong supporter for health and for women for many years, encouraging all of us as women to take better care of yourself. What has been the biggest message that you want to get out to women? Well, in 2006, I was 44 years old and I had a routine mammogram scheduled six days after my birthday, which I didn't want to go to because mm -hmm. I was too busy and had the Grammys and life was just crazy. And I wound up keeping the appointment and I was diagnosed with invasive breast cancer. And I think the message I want to tell women is that we don't have a cure yet. And until we have a cure, early detection is our best weapon. I was detected at a very early stage, had minimal treatment, and I'm 16 years out. And I feel not an obligation, but I feel it to be a blessing that I have so many women who are in my fan base, moms, daughters, sisters, wives, um, and friends as well, who I want to encourage to just get back in the habit of, once you're 40, keeping that appointment every year. Um, just to make sure you're on the early side of a detection. Uh, Dr. Richardson, we were just hearing from Cheryl talk about how important it was to have that screening done and being proactive. What should women be thinking about when it comes to breast cancer screenings? Because it, it's not when you start to feel sick or have questions. We really need to get a jump start on our health. Absolutely, that's a really good point. Breast cancer screening should happen when you feel fine, mm -hmm. when you don't have any symptoms of cancer, because the point, the point is to really catch the cancer before it catches you, right? Before you feel anything. And so that's why it's really important to do a checkup once a year on your whole entire body, including your breast. So keeping that breast the mammogram appointment is very imperative for the early detection, because all breast cancer is not the same. The earlier you catch it, the more likely you will have for survival, the more treatment options you'll have available for you, and less invasive treatment. So it's really critical to get a mammogram so you give yourself the best fighting chance if it would happen to you. Okay, Dr. Mm -hmm. Richardson, I'm going to tell you something, but you've got to promise not to get mad at me, okay? Mm, I admit, I've been behind. I'm behind on my health screenings because, okay, I can blame the pandemic, but also I just get so busy. So what do you have advice for women like me who've been procrastinating, who just can't get into the doctor, and now I have some concerns that I didn't jump the gun ahead enough and didn't do that preventive care that you and Cheryl are talking about? Uh, you're not alone, for one. I would like to tell you that you're not alone. But just think about if you don't get it. So if you get cancer in three years and you didn't get a mammogram today, you might wonder what woulda, shoulda, coulda, and mm -hmm. regret is something that is very difficult to overcome. And you owe it to yourself today to make your health a priority. And so I would say just get back on track now, regardless okay. of whatever reason it is that you put it off, you're too busy. Um, because when you don't have any problems, it's easy to put it on the back burner. But I think you need to bring it to the forefront at least once a year. Mm -hmm. So make an appointment to see your doctor, get a mammogram, and know that you're good to go. And and you can be there for yourself to do all those things that you're putting your mammogram off to do mm -hmm. and also to be there for your family. So get a mammogram. And if you want to find a mammogram near you, I would recommend you visit Genius3DNearMe.com to find a 3D mammogram in okay. your area. Very good. Cheryl Crow, uh, real quick, I just want to say congrats on your documentary uh, coming up and we can't wait to hear more about it. Well, I hope people enjoy it. You know, it, it is a kind of a weird feeling. I'm a very private person and to tell my whole story and then put it out into the world, right. it definitely Good feels odd, but I hope people will feel inspired once they've Absolutely. seen it. And, you know, I think the thing we have to remember is that behind all the public figures that we know is a person yeah, um, point. who experiences the same struggles that we all, we do. all do. So You continue to be a role um, model yeah, for us, Yeah, I hope people Cheryl. enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you so much to you and to Dr. Arlene Richardson for your time this morning. Take care, ladies. Good to talk to you on this Women's Health Week. Thank you. All right.